Hello and welcome to another Company of Heroes NIS tutorial. I received a comment, do you know how to do soldiers lying and calling medics and medics carrying soldiers? Well I didn't but with a few poking about and some hours lying here and there I now do and that's what we're going to look over today. So for starters we're going to need a medic and a soldier to carry that medic. Uh, no, the other way around. A soldier for that medic to carry. So that's what we need to find. Uh, da -da, medic. Um, put him in. There we go. And we're also going to need a soldier. This could be any soldier. We'll pick Lewis Rifleman. Okay. Now then, as always, we're going to need the timeline. Open that up and stick it down here. Open up actors, riflemen and the medic. The medic will be our sort of skeleton and the rifleman will be attached to the medic, which means that the rifleman can't be used um, independently. You have to use them as part of the medic and I'll show you how to do that and what that exactly means just now. So select your rifleman, animation, and it must be on the first frame, which is the very first one on the left here. Under animation, click and insert. And in target visual at the very bottom, put medic underscore S Y N K. Yeah, see. Medic underscore sync. And select from the drop down your medic. It is useful to rename these because they can become quite confusing if you've got four medics and five riflemen. So you need to select the right one and add. That won't do anything just yet. We now have to click add again and under state again. I oh, know, not state. Start action. Attach to medic. There it is. Attach the medic and add. Uh, this is for if you want to stop attaching after a certain point. We, we don't want to do that, so click OK. Now, if you go to the first frame, boom. This looks ridiculous, but it's correct. Your rifleman will be stuck to your medic for the entire, um, the entire run, so the entire time, um, which hosts the problem of what if you want to pick someone up or drop someone off uh, it's not not possible but I'll show you how to get around that so currently if we play it looks even more ridiculous but nothing's happening we need to tell the medic to pick him up so animation in the first frame or any frame but but for sake of this I'm going to put on the first one, the insert, then under state it's carrying unit, so carrying underscore unit, under state, and add. On the right hand side, carrying underscore, the carrying underscore unit, change the value to on, and remember, always update. So we go to begin, replay, oh look at that, some acrobatics, and then he carries. Now they won't do anything in the state, they won't move, they won't fidget, they won't they will just be stuck as a statue like that. So if you're looking to do a long scene with them with them like this, I'd probably advise against it. You can make them move, which I will show you how to do just now. So you can move them from here to over here. So if we go all the way to the beginning. Notice that the animation, the carrying animation, doesn't, it starts and you have to wait for it to end and it will also change the pose, which is quite nice. Oops, where did I go? I disappeared, there we are. Now, find the point at which the animation ends. It's about 30 frames. So if we take a look, it's, yeah, it's 30 frames. So at that 30th, say 31st frame, 
open the position rotation uh, section of the medic and again open position and rotation and you'll need to copy these three keyframes hold shift to select multiple ones control C and then control V that will stop the medic from moving here now move forward a few frames let's say I don't know 20 20 frames now go up to the top auto key and move him along the uh, Z axis the forward the forward one you can go as far as you like but keep in mind how long he has so now turn auto key off start from the beginning hit play he'll start moving and we'll hey look at that an animation notice how there's no locomotion anywhere so he will automatically run from there onwards and that's kind of cool okay so there we go so now he's running from A to B oh you probably want a situation where you'll be picking up a unit I haven't found a good way of doing that but what I have found is a sort of yeah, I don't know a cheap way of doing it which involves making a clone so we just go to the exact unit you picked before so now you've got two of them they have to be the same unit or this sort of won't work now you'll notice that I just click down here this will stop me from selecting that uh, rifleman so now I can only select the medic which is very useful once you've selected your medic go forward now what we need to do is have the medic run from here to here with this soldier not visible at which point we need him to pick up this soldier however I haven't found a way of actually picking up a soldier that's already lying down so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this one and then hide this one so it's as if he's picked picked up the soldier so to do that move the medic back open up the medic go to animation and change that carrying unit to the point at which your medic stops which is here we can actually hold shift and that will allow you or should allow you doesn't always work there we go it will allow you to move the keyframe that's very useful so we can actually move these all the way back back they go and also move these back so that we don't have to wait so he runs the soldier on the back is still stuck to his back and we need to solve that and to solve that we can use the what's it called visibility so under your rifleman that you have on the back go to visibility first keyframe insert and change it to false and he will disappear he is still there because you can select him and change his keyframes but he's just on the screen so go back reply now because we haven't got him carrying the unit he has no locomotion we need to do that so medic animation the point at which he starts running insert and the state locomotion and add at the right we have different types of locomotion stand crouch kneel yeah stand crouch kneel how fast they move so select one you can stand medium update and now he'll sort of jolly on across to this fella to this guy he needs to be on the floor he needs to be wounded and you can actually do that as well so select the uh, rifleman animation we can set it to the first keyframe insert and click on state wounded state these are the types of wounded state add and on the right from healthy we'll make him wounded and update 
that is an animation that plays here, so keep that in mind. So he runs across and puts him into the, um, he starts to pick up. But notice here, he, he's not actually picking this fella up and he hasn't got anyone visible. So what we need to do here is make this guy invisible and make this guy visible. So we'll select the fellow on the ground, visibility, insert, false. So I'll make him disappear. And one on the back, we can make him uh, insert under the visibility and select it back to true. This guy will disappear and this guy will reappear. Now it's not perfect, it doesn't truly work. With some camera work, you can make a. And there's an example. You can make it work around. Say if you're. No, no, you, you can look looking at him. It looks away for a second and then it looks back. Or if there's action somewhere else, or if a car drives past, or anything really. Um, just to. Just to skip that, those few milliseconds there, those few frames. And that's really all there is to it. You can continue getting this guy to run forward. Or, um, I don't know, do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm going to show a short animation of something I made employing the, the camera trick I was talking about. So that'll be playing right now. That was just a short, a short video on what you can do. Obviously, you can make it a lot better, add some scenery and stuff like that. Um, but if you have any more comments or questions, let me know, and I'll try and help you out. Until next time, bye.